Okay, let's talk about retraction equipment, what to use and when to use it. This is a standard dental photography retraction and mirror kit that I use, contained within a dedicated low profile aluminium tray. It consists of a set of large retractors, um, like these ones, a long length intraoral mirror, like this, and then a smaller kit consisting of small retractors and a smaller mirror. Having two sizes of each accommodates for the varying range of mouth sizes and retraction abilities. The main aim of retraction is to remove the soft tissue away from the area of interest. Therefore, the choice of retractor is ultimately dependent on what retraction you are aiming for and what you're photographing. For general retraction of the lips during anterior and oblique views, we use the small side of the large retractors of these large retractors. And it provides adequate retraction to expose the surfaces of the teeth and suits 90% of patients. Of course, if you could use the larger ones, that would be great, but I find that most patients are slightly uncomfortable with this sort of size. What you'll note from these um, retractors is the shape of the retractors lends more to a horizontal retraction here rather than vertical. So if you're demonstrating, say, the gingiva or buckle and require more vertical retraction, you'd be better off using um, retractors that offer more vertical retraction, such as these ones. When you look at them together, you can see the difference between the vertical and the horizontal retraction. So you're picking your retraction based on what you're photographing and what you're trying to achieve. If you are doing mirror views, you would use the small side of these just because it makes them less obtrusive and you can actually get a better uh, retraction from pulling the lips away using these two than you would do with one like that that's got more horizontal retraction.